Hi, welcome to Social Research Insights. My name is Kamakshaya. I am principal consultant at Social Research Insights. Social Research Insights is not a business organization. It is just a freelance training outfit. Uh, we are just a couple of individuals who are working on providing training related to data analytics, data science and IoT. Um, this is one of my videos which belongs to a series of presentations um, that related to programming uh, Python programming for data analytics. In this video guys, I'm going to show you how to draw a T distribution uh, using a couple of packages in Python. Um, I think you might be knowing what is the T distribution. If, in case if you uh, don't know, just go for the T distribution Wikipedia. And it is uh, probably students T distribution or Gaussian distribution. Sometimes people also call it as uh, the family of tree distributions belongs to the the uh, theoretical um, probability distribution of the type normal distribution. Whenever we talk about the tree distribution, we refer to the family of tree distributions. Why? Because we have degrees of freedom. So the sh shape of the tree distribution tend to differ based on the number of degrees of freedom. Uh, I'm going to show you how to plot the tree distribution using Python. I'm going to use uh, a python editor called spider i like this uh, editor because it is organized in a couple of uh, panes the left side pane is for the script and right side you have two different panes one for the hel help other for the console so left side will be writing the source code and uh, you can execute this code as in batch mode and right bottom you have the console where you can test your code by executing it in interactive mode uh, I already have some code in my script. I am thoroughly going to show you, uh, explain you what is the meaning of these statements. As I said, uh, to plot the t-distribution we need to use a couple of packages and I need a package called matplotlib. Uh, this is a package which helps us to plot the graphs and we have a module called pyplot which is available from the package matplotlib. And I'm going to give an alias, or I can say I'm going to create an instance of the model pyplot, which is available from the package matplotlib. Uh, I also need another package called numpy, and I'm going to create an instance of numpy by using an alias name, alias uh, np. And I also need another package scipy. And these are the three packages we need, and we are going to use a couple of modules from these packages. Uh, I'm going to make use of numerical simulations. What I try to do, I I'm creating a user object x. This is my username, and I'm going to use this numpy package. np is the instance of the numpy, and this is a command a range which helps us to create a data variable that which range from minus four to four with an increment of point 0.1. And now we need some density values. We need to convert this actual values into the respective dens densities. I think you might be knowing, you might be having some idea on the normal distribution. This is how normal distribution looks like. It is exactly a bell-shaped uh, curve. So we'll be on x-axis is the unidimensional plot or, uh, or chart. Uh, we'll be having only one axis. This is the on x-axis, we'll be having a number series ranging from minus 4 to 4, three to minus 3 to 3, or minus 6 to 6. The choice is yours. And we are going to uh, simulate um, a tree distribution from the same actual observations. I'm going to use the actual observations because I rather expect to see my curve exactly look like a bell. That is what we say the normal distribution looks like a bell curve, bell-shaped bell curve. So we need the densities, uh, and we are going to compute the densities by using uh, a particular command called t.pdf. PDF stands for the probability dis density function and probability density function returns the density values for the actual observations and I'm going to save the those values in a user object, another user object called tvals and the plotting is very simple we just have to use uh, a particular command called plt.plot plt is an instance of the matplotlib.pyplot plt dot plot, which means I'm I'm telling Python to plot it by using these two data variables. X is the actual observations, which is the I'm going to throw those observations on x-axis, and uh, y we we are going to tell Python that use t val values um, for y values. 
I said it is unidimensional and I'm, I'm but for plotting we don't have the we need to give both x comma y and finally we request python to show the plot and let's go ahead to execute this code you just have to highlight all the code and press f9 okay this is the function button which is there at the top corner I mean the top of your keyboard you just have to press f9 to execute the code in uh, spider okay what we are going to do I'll try to plot another uh, t distribution since I said the t distribution is the family of distributions we call it the family of distributions because the shape of the distribution tend to differ based on the degrees of freedom so I'll try to create two distributions this time instead of 30 I create another I call this as t whiles uh, 2 and I control copy paste this here and this I call t whiles 1 that is two different va variables and this time I use 1 as degrees of freedom which means we have only two data points or you can make use of anything like any any number four five six something like that uh, let's keep four to make more meaning to add more meaning to our exercise so we have x and uh, we have t1 and t2 i'm going to press f9 to execute this command yes i have now uh, to get the clarification you can just go here t whiles one then you can print the first six elements of the data vector in this way and you can also use the two and print the first uh, six we call it as head head of the data we have two portions of the data head uh, and tile first of six elements and uh, this is how we refer the head and tile in our community uh, so you have it and you can also execute uh, suppose you want to execute the tail minus i think you should know the length of the uh, anyway that's okay let me show you otherwise you may feel T whiles okay eight elements right we'll go for the previous here I put minus 80 and minus 84 so that I'll get the last six elements I think sorry 76 74 yeah yeah last six elements of the so this is how you can see the head and tail of the okay now let's go ahead and say mm, plot our one and also plot x versus t whiles two then um, I think Python takes automatically the colors are taken by the Python automatically we don't need to worry now yes we got uh, I think the difference is very less right I'll go for one here and this time I'll just go and uh, plot yeah I think there is a, a sufficient amount of gap between the now suppose you want to mm, you are producing this graph for some document like um, uh, people may not be able to understand w the degrees of freedom of the t because we have two t distributions here and people may confuse right? I just want to put some text in this uh, plot so that it, it makes more sense and meaning to the people who go through the because the purpose of the data ana analysis is to provide the reports to the concerned parties like the party may be anything like um, for that we have a beautiful mm, command called plt text so you can just uh, you my intelligence starts this is what is called the intelligence in python you can just press tab button and now put the desired text over there I keep degrees of freedom I think we have one here right and then you need to give uh, the location for this and for that I think sorry first I need to give the location I'll choose a location exactly 0 and 0.15 so I think that could be or 0 0.5 yeah 0 0.15 0 comma 0.15 is the 0 is the this is the coordinates for the for the text dyf1 uh, I want the place 0 comma 0.15 this is exactly the place where I want to see these and then I can also define the color color this I, I just want to keep color as red and then this time what happens I cannot mm, execute them separately I have to press together 
So this time you got the DYF right. So the underneath. So how how are we going to put the degrees of freedom for the next one? I'll choose a particular position two, or I go for the three. I'll put an arrow three to say three to three to one point five, and then exactly at three I'll come up with uh, my text. For that we have a command, and that command is plt annotate annotate. And what we are going to annotate the text D O F mm, 30 and now X Y position is what is the place mm, one X X the X coordinate is 1.5 and Y and 0.25 then X Y text put the text somewhere 3 comma Mm, I'll choose uh, 0 0.35, 0 0.35. This place, 0 0.35 and 3. Then there, mm, put make the arrow between these two places. Arrow props is equal to proportions is equal to dict. It is an object. We should use the object dict. Face color is um, black. Mm, then. I think I should use uh, shrink is equal to 0 0.025 yeah, 025 then width of the arrow should be 1 and um, head width is 3 I think that is sufficient uh, then finally we can define the color of the text as red let's see uh, whether we can create this or not yeah exactly so we got an arrow and the arrow points to I think we, ca we, we still can push this arrow till 1 so that uh, uh, the place for the arrow here is not the point 1.5 point but it should be 1 and the head I think head width is we can go for 4 ok now let's go back again and then execute yeah I think this is beautiful isn't it mm. copy ok so this looks very nice so we created the two t distributions one for the degrees of the first one is for degrees of freedom 1 and the second one is uh, I think it is not 1 it is something else yeah, one and the second one is the degrees of freedom 30 and I've shown you how to plot the t distribution using Python and also shown you how to plot the text in the charts okay this is how we can create the plots and in my next video I, I'll, I'll show you how to shade the area under the normal curve uh, I'm sure you like my video if you like press please press like kindly don't press like or dislike uh, subscribe to my video channel stay tuned for the new content thank you thanks for watching